Welcome to the TCR International Series. This is the season so far with four weekends at legendary motorsport events across the world. The deserts of Bahrain open the season with a night race. Craft Bamboo Lukol dominated, whilst 2015 champion Kamini struggled. Oriola's double victory started his season perfectly. Estoril was next up and Newman Homola was the man in the groove, but old hand Morbidelli exerted huge pressure for race one victory. Oriola had a weekend to forget as Morbidelli claimed his points lead. James Nash took his first win in the series. Sunny skies in Spa and an expert start by Aku Pelnin, while Antti Burry also starred. JK Vernet disposed of Nasha, whilst Attila Tassi disposed of himself. Pelnin took Honda's second win of the year. Retirement for Morbidelli as the B3 racing young gun struggled. At home, a race two win for the Leopard racing team and Jean-Carl Vernet, new to TCR. And then it was Imola, more disasters for West Coast Racing, menu tripping over a slowing Morbidelli. Dusan Borkovic also went spinning in race one, and Kamini became winner number six. Then in race two, it was the underdog's turn. Mikhail Grashov superb since switching teams and taking his first win on his 30th attempt in TCR. Oriola leads the championship, coming into rounds 9 and 10. Everything went so good, uh, except Estoril, uh, where I think my ballast uh, weight affected me a lot. I'm a high Bahrain, both races and Estoril. Uh, low moments, uh, Spa race 1 and the whole of Imola. Uh, I didn't have a good start uh, in Bahrain, I was P2. In uh, Spa I was P1, but I again didn't, didn't have a good start. This is my fault, of course. After the results, Bahrain it was zero points because of some uh, crashes. Just keep focusing on my, on my, on my job, which is uh, score points every weekend. I will do all my best to, uh, to be again the champion of uh, 2016. The fifth weekend of the year brings us to the picturesque Salzburg ring in Austria. New for some and a favourite for others. It gave me a lot of good memories since we became second of the European Touring Car Championship when I was like 16. Here I had the first victory in my life in touring cars in 2013 in ETCC. I don't know if it's going to be my favourite track, <laughs> but I did one lap, I walked one lap. Looks pretty fast, lots of banking. It's pretty old style, it's pretty nice in the green, I love it. looks like a very small notebook green. It's a challenging track, um, looks easy but certainly not. Back in the championship this weekend, two beautiful Giuliettas. Now with an all new paint job reflecting the huge reworking that the Alfa Romeo has gone through since we last saw Michaela Ciruti out in Estoril. When you look at it, you see you can't miss to see that we've we've worked on the aerodynamics a bit, certainly around the front end, just trying to reduce drag as much as we possibly could. It should be better. I have to say that driving it, it feels better. So we are sure that we made an improvement. So it was a good idea to stop and take our time uh, to make it better. We also have two cars now, so I also have a teammate that I'm very happy. We've got Peter Fullin on board with us this weekend. Um, a recognised front wheel drive expert. Uh, it's going to be an asset to the team, absolutely. Um, able to help uh, me, help uh, Mickey, help everybody in the team to, to progress even further. Well, for sure we could work a bit on the front, which was our main problem. So we could adjust a bit the understeer and make it better. We also made uh, like the aerodynamic a bit better. We changed it. Even for the cooling system now it's working better. So overall the performance of the engine should be a bit better. My expectation, uh, I would be over the moon if we can be somewhere between 8 and 12. Uh, if we can move into Q2, who knows? You have a chance there if you if you qualify ninth or tenth, you can be close to the front at, uh, for the second race, and um, anything can happen. 